hello guys good day and welcome back to this channel once again today we are going to solve question 6 of novdec 2021 core mathematics paper 2. we have two questions here that is 6a and then 6b now let's solve question 6a the operation star is defined on the set r of real numbers by m star n equals 1 over 2 times m minus n if m is equal to 2 n is equal to 4 and p is equal to 6 evaluate i m star into bracket n plus p and then i i m star n in a bracket plus m star p also in a bracket now let's solve this question So from the question, the operation star is defined on the set R of real numbers by M star N, which means that when you combine M and then N under the operation star, the rule for the operation is giving us 1 over 2 times M minus N. So basically, we are going to substitute the values of M, N, and then P in here to solve for I and II. So let's solve for I. So for i, we have m star into bracket n plus p. Now this is equal to, now let's substitute the values of m, n, and then p into this operation. So in place of m, we have 2 star into bracket, n is 4, and then p is 6. Now we need to solve brackets first. So 4 plus 6 is 10. Therefore, this is going to be 2 star 10. Now using the rule for the operation, we are going to have 1 over 2 times. This time our m is 2 and then our n is 10. So this is going to be half times 2 minus 10. Let's simplify this. 2 minus 10 is negative 8. And then half of negative 8 is equal to negative 4. Therefore, m star into bracket n plus p is equal to negative 4. Now let's solve for ii. So for ii, we have m star n in the bracket plus m star p also in a bracket so using the rule for the operation we have half times m minus n so we have m to be 2 minus we have n to be 4 plus Also using the rule, we have 1 over 2 times m is 2 minus p is 6. So let's simplify. We have 1 over 2 times 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Now half times negative 2 is negative 1. And then half of negative 4 is negative 2. Therefore, we have negative 1 minus 2. And this is equal to negative 3. Therefore, m star n in a bracket plus m star p also in a bracket is equal to negative 3. Now, let's solve for 6b. So for b, the root of the equation 2x squared plus into bracket m plus 1 x plus n equals 0 are 1 and 3, where m and then n are constants. Find the values of m and n.
So from the question, we have been told that the roots of this equation are 1 and 3. So the roots, the roots are 1 and 3. And the equation is, or the quadratic equation is 2x squared plus m plus 1 in a bracket times x plus n equals 0. Now let's call this equation 1. So to find the values of m and then n, we need to form a new quadratic equation using the roots given in the question. So how do we form a quadratic equation when the roots of the equation are given? Now to form a quadratic equation when the roots are given, we are going to use the formula x squared minus in a bracket sum of roots times x plus product of roots equals 0. Now in view of this, we need to find the sum of roots and the product of roots. So the sum of the sum of roots is equal to we are basically going to add these two values. So 1 plus 3 and that is equal to 4. And then for the product of roots we are basically going to multiply the two values. So we have 1 times 3 and that is equal to 3. Now we are going to put in these values into this equation. So that's going to be x squared minus sum of roots we have 4. So negative 4x and then we have the product of roots to be 3. So plus 3 equals 0. Now the coefficient of x squared in equation 1 is 2. And the coefficient of x squared for the new equation is 1. So in order to compare the coefficients of these two equations, we need to make sure that the coefficients of x squared for both equations are the same. So we are going to multiply this new quadratic equation by 2. So this becomes 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And then we have 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 equals 0. Now let's call this equation 2. At this point, we can compare the coefficients of these two equations, especially the ones containing the variables m and then n. So first of all, let's compare coefficients of x. So comparing the coefficients of x, for equation 1 we have m plus 1 equals equation 2 we have negative 8. Since we want to find the value of m, we transpose 1 to the right hand side. So we have negative 8 minus 1 and then m is equal to negative 9. So this is the value of m. Now let's compare the coefficients. of the constants. So we have n equals 6. So this is the value of n. Therefore, we have m equals negative 9 and n equals 6. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.